In today's video, we're going to have our first look at the audio mixer. Now, the audio mixer is actually a really large component inside of Unity, so I'm going to break this up over a few different videos. And in today's video, I just want to show you how to create it, start hooking your sounds up to it, and just get familiar with it. Along the way, we'll also take a look at groups. So let's get started. So I'm just going to come into my assets folder, right click and create, and we'll just go right to the audio mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and call this, what's this level called? This is demo six. So I'm going to call it for my, my level. And right off the bat, you can't drag it into the scene. You can't add it to anything. But if you double click it, it will open up the audio mixer window. Alternatively, you can also, also come up to the window tab and open it that way. Uh, for now, I'm just going to stick it down here. And let's take a look at it. So the first thing we see here is the list of mixers. And right now we just have one demo six. If I went ahead and created another one, there we go. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the one. Uh, snapshots, we'll look at in a later video. Uh, groups we're gonna look at today and views again in a later video. So what exactly is a mixer? Right now I have a scene set up and I have multiple different sounds going on in my scene. I have that ambient music going, I have my player's footsteps. Uh, there's that little critter sound, and there's also a screaming sound. Uh, take a look at this. I've gone ahead and set a trigger up here, so when I walk into it, I get a screaming sound. And uh, that's about it for now. So there's about four sounds playing right now. Player walking, or just the player's sounds in general. There's other ones attached to them. The critter, the ambient, the scream. Yeah, so there's four different sounds. And I can go in and I can adjust things manually. But with the mixer, it allows us to go ahead and actually start assigning things into groups. That's the way I like to think of it. Now, right off the bat, you can go in and let's just take the screaming, for instance. And right here where we have output, I can actually just go ahead and switch this over to well, the double six mixer and into the master. And I'll put it in here and I can go through all of them. And I'll do a couple here. Let's just do the, the background stuff the sound effects. I'll go ahead and throw that one in, but also my ambient music. And now when I go ahead and I'm playing, and I'm also going to move this up to the other screen. There we go, so I can see it while I'm moving. So we click the edit in place. We can, well, edit while it's in play mode. And we can now actually control the volume of all of those sound effects all together. So already it's kind of cool because you can script this. So as you're going along, you can have uh, the, the volume go up or down. Maybe you get to a point where some guy's going to talk to you in your game and you actually have voice acting. So you can go ahead and turn down a bunch of stuff, but we have everything hooked up just to the master. Then we can't go ahead and lower the actual different sounds independently. So let's take a look at that next. So uh, groups down here, I can just right click, do add child group. We can also just click the button. Either one works. And I'm going to call this one sound effects. So right click, rename. I uh, said right click, rename. Oh, I won't let me rename. Let's delete it. And we'll go ahead. We'll add another one. Double click it as well. And I'm just going to call this SFX for sound effects. And I'm going to put my critter sound effects there. And here we go. We have the demo. Here's the master. Underneath the master, we have the sound effects. I want to put the screaming under there as well. And I guess while I'm here, I'm going to make a couple more. I want one for the ambient because I want that to be separate. Now you can have also different sound effects that are uh, maybe making up your ambient. In this case, I only have the one. Let's hit the button, make another one. Ambient, and I want one more for the player sounds. And I did not mean to make it under the actual player itself, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And well, we'll look at that later. We can go ahead and add child. I'm going to add a sibling, which means it's in the same hierarchy as this. There we go. So I'm going to select my player. I've got all my groups made. I'm going to put the player sound effects into the player. It's quickly coming down. Ambient will go into ambient. 
ruder sounds into sound effects and screaming into sound effects as well. Great. Let's go ahead, we'll start this up. And take watch at the top so we can see the sound effects going off of the different groups. Or the, the different volume meters. And I can control all of them through the master. Again, we need the edit and play mode. So when I turn that down, it turns down the volume for everything. So keep that in mind. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just turn one down or the other. Maybe I don't want my ambient this loud. Maybe I'm going somewhere and I need something for a louder sound. And of course, when I'm adjusting the sound effects, it adjusts all of the sound effects. That'll also affect the screen. So now I want to go ahead and take a look at subgroups. And I'm just going to come over to my scene. I have a campfire set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the campfire on. And we'll just zoom in on it. It's kind of in the middle here by the crossroads. And I've got a few things set up here. I have a campfire sound that I have play. Uh, there's also a different ambient sound that plays when I am, I'm over here. And then I also have a wind sound. Now I've got the ambient turned off for now. I also have the fire turned off. Only thing I have is the wind. So let's go ahead and open up the audio mixer again. And I'm just gonna go onto the master. Either one, I can just click the plus button again, or I can click add child group. And I'm gonna call this campsite. Then I can right click to do add sibling, or have the camp site attached and click the plus button, which will add a sibling as well. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just trying to decide if I want this as ambient or not. Well, for now, I'm going to go ahead and just have it as its own separate one. And what I'm going to do is come down to my wind, select the output for it. And I'm going to come down to the campsite, pick the wind. And let's actually go ahead and do one more. Let's do the, the Western one as well. I'm going to go ahead, add another child. This one, I'm going to call background. I'm going to take the wind, drag and drop it on so it's underneath that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add another sibling. Sorry, I meant to add a child. That's okay, we'll fix it in a second. Ambient. Now what I'm trying to demonstrate here is all the dis different nesting you can do along the way. So I'll pick the ambient and we'll go ahead and make sure we select that. And we're starting to get pretty full over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So these, this is the master. This controls the volume for everything in the scene. Uh, the sound effects is the critter and the screaming. The ambient is the overall scene one. The player is the sound that we're getting from the player. And then the campsite has the background sounds, which right now contains the ambient and the wind for around that campsite. So let's start it up and everything's going to be mishmashed together all at once. I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit and play mode so we can play with this a bit. And you should be able to hear the wind and I should actually turn on the ambient sound as well. So we can hear the with the western music playing along. We can hear the wind. Can't quite hear the ambient. So I'm going to go turn that up a bit. This ambient. That's a little too loud. But take note here of the, you can hear the wind and the Western music. If I go ahead and turn down campsite, this turns down everything that's underneath it as well. And if I turn it back up, you can hear it again. Likewise, if I just want to turn the background here down, I can do that as well. There we go. So you can now control groups of groups and just keep nesting out as much as you want. But that should be enough to actually start getting you started as far as setting up the mixes that you want. And in our next video, let's go ahead and start taking a look at snapshots and views. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. 
when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>